Hey guys, it's Tom from Swords and Dreams, and I wanted to show you some of my awesome new rats like this one that just jumped up. This is seriously a tricolored rat. You see the three different shades on it? Look at that. It's crazy. And then if you look at this guy, you can see he's got like two totally different shades. The shades are running down the sides. Same with that gray one over there too. And if you look, there's a gray one right there on the top, that beautiful male that's sitting there. Uh, he's dual colored or whatever. But there's a lot of them, that's for sure. This guy keeps bouncing out. We're going to need a top for this because he's figured it out already. But very cool as we were cleaning the rat cages, some of the babies are turning color. So that tells me that some of y'all that got some of my grays uh, or my blues are ending up with some crazy tricolored rats. Look at this one. Because as they get older, they really start to show out the colors then. But all of them, you can see this one here too. So we got some seriously nice colors. Even this one. Wow. Another one. Just freaky in color. Well, as you can see, my rats are superior regardless of what anyone says. Even my normal looking ones. Look at this albino blue D Dumbo right there. That's awesome. But anyway, God bless. Thanks for looking at my rats. And uh, very, very, very cool colorations on some of them. You can't find any better bloodlines anywhere. I've never seen anything like these guys. Just getting better and better. You can see the definite difference right there. Well, have a blessed day. And thanks for Andrew, who's helping me clean the rats too. So anybody that does pick on us about the rats, they get cleaned too much to have any bugs or any other crap in there. I'm not saying it's not possible, because mites are in everything, even on our own foreheads. But the truth of the matter is there's some people out there slandering my rats, and it's sad. Because I do have some of the best pet-grade quality rats that I've ever seen. Just crazy. But anyway, a lot of other items here in the store we got to get rid of too, guys. So we've been running specials on just about everything. Come on in, haggle out a deal. Um, you can buy case amounts of stuff too if you want. Whatever you guys want to do. I'm also trading as well. Been trading for gold, silver, guns, ammo, cars, trucks, motorcycles. Pretty much everything. So come on in. Make your deal. A lot of my cages are starting to disappear still. Just a couple big ones left. And a few scattered here in the front. But soon it'll be a normal store. Got a few people that are actually interested in possibly taking over the store. That would be great. I would love to see someone take over instead of having to close the store because it's done pretty good for me. I'd like it to do well for others as besides me. But everything in the store is up for grabs. And there's tons of items still left. And as you can see, we're sliding items in pretty much everywhere. Thanks for your support and kindness here at Swords and Dreams. We're at 7143 West Greenfield Avenue, West Ellis, Wisconsin, 53214. Come on out to the shop and get your deal. And uh, check out a lot of Andrew's new artwork. You guys might have seen some of the posts we put out on uh, Facebook already. But some of the stuff he's starting to pull off has actually been pretty darn cool. I love this window. He just did this one the other day. Up, oh, it all started with rats. Come on by the shop and see what we have next. Swords and Dreams.
We're taking the reptile rescue off the window too. Because we're trying not to rescue any more reptiles or pets. God bless.